Gerne. Das ist ein Winkel, wenn du einmal falsch ziehst, haut es dir irgendwann anders viel später als eine. Mhm. Das gibt es ja. Das ist anders passiert. I write Quake from the Bay Area, CBS Lords Cruise. Um, started writing in 1986. And uh, in 1992, I met Lord Bazaar and I was asked to start a chapter of Lord's Crew in the Bay Area. And I did that, started the Lord's in the Bay. We built it up fairly well. And around uh, 1996, one of the members of the Bay Area Lord's, Joltz, was abroad traveling to Europe. And in Berlin, he had met uh, DJ Fecht and Shu in a train station. He uh, kept in correspondence to him, uh, staying with him for a few weeks, I believe. And then once he, uh, he came back home, 
uh, he asked me if I would send some packages out to Austria so they could be exposed a little bit more to American style graffiti, you know, and what we were doing. So I started corresponding with Fecht and Shu and trading packages, you know, sketches, mixtapes, uh, different things, just turning each other onto our cultures, you know, and the fact that maybe the variation that you uh, you have by you know European hip hop versus American hip hop. So it was kind of a culture shock, I think, on both sides, but also very inspirational to be exposed and have friends uh, that live overseas. This is pre-internet, so it wasn't really easy to make a connection like that. It was uh, kind of a, a fate, so to speak, that we all ended up hooking up. So I kept in contact, and we were exchanging packages back and forth, and eventually um, they asked if they could come out. So they rounded up the whole crew, the whole chapter out here, and uh, they stayed with us in 1998 and got to meet the whole crew in the bay. And we were painted, we did all kinds of uh, things, exploring together, you know, sightseeing, showing them around the bay area, turned them on to our food, burritos and, and uh, music, you know, local bay area hip hop that we're heavy into. So uh, we all got along really good. It was rather surprising how <clears throat> it all seemed to niche together perfectly where we felt like we probably already knew each other in some sort of way. Um, around uh, 99 I came out to stay with Feck just to reinforce the bond and I came out here and I hooked up with the crew out here in 99, stayed here for around three months and we were painting walls, going to hip-hop gigs, traveling, um, just being exposed once again to a new culture and to be able to see how they live and where their roots are and what they what they come from. Um, we ended up just having a wonderful couple months where we were painting every day, eating together, having meals, you know, and these guys became my brothers. And that's a bond that still exists today, stronger than ever probably, as you can see from the results of the, the art increasing and getting that much better, raising the bar, so to speak, helping each other bring it to the next level. Well, the first couple days that we got here, uh, the weather was supposed to be nice. It ended up raining, so it was a little rough, a little cold. Reminded me a lot of San Francisco weather, actually. And uh, we were delayed quite a bit, but uh, due to Nitros and Shoes' hard work, we caught up real quick, and um, this production's looking amazing. My first impression of the Harbor of Lintz was kind of mind-blowing. Uh, what they're trying to accomplish here artistically is just amazing to me I think it could be a huge event this is um, another place that could build up like Art Basel and some of the events that built up in the United States seeing um, the art and the surfaces and all the different uh, contexts of how the art is presented here is amazing I think there's so much potential here to build a great scene for Linz and for Austria <laughs>